Let us pray the Angelus in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Before we begin our Eucharistic celebration, may we remind all our mass goers to wear your face mask properly throughout the mass. May we request the congregation to actively participate in responses, prayers, and songs during the mass. Thank you. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. We are gathered here to worship to honor, to praise, and give thanks to God. In this celebration, let us include in our prayers the following intentions. For the thanksgiving of William Yao, the family of the late Felicidad Manansala, Waldorf and Rosal family, Helen San Pablo, Ricky and Adoracion Canales, Culper Manufacturing Philippines Incorporated, Josper and Christine Cajonio, wedding anniversary. For the birthday blessing of Jocelyn Calma, Romeo Season and Estralita Season, Ria Tan, Gloria Tan, Lawrence Tan, Nanding Evangelista, Vickis. For the special intention and guidance of the Holy Spirit for family and friends of Father Noli, Father Meg, Father Jasper, Father Mark Anthony, HRP staffs and mandated organizations, Mario Trinidad Lasatin and family, Rodolfo and Vice Governor Lilia Nane Pineda and family, Governor Dennis and Yoli Pineda and family, Roselle Pineda, 
Cristel Puno, Cecilia and Miguel de Castro, Alan and Edna Vitug and family, Lincoln Baluyot and family, Imang Aurin Between and family, Patty Golier and family, Gilbert and Lavenisa Nuki and family, Jomar Pangan, Grace Santa Ana, Joel Santa Ana, Juan Jose Santa Ana, Noel Manangkil, Josephine Gonzalez, Marian Manangkil, Evangelina Manangkil, May Ann Aquino, Eliana and Joaquin, Kimberly Christine Tolentino, Katrina Denise Tolentino, Kirsten Daniel Tolentino. For good health and protection of Gabby and Julie Fabella, Kay and Javi Diaz, Cara Fabella and Craig Smith, Alex and Lair Paras and family, June, Mel and Abigail Ramirez, Edian and Edita Gonzalez and family, Ferdy, Vicky and Cesar Ramirez, Lou Between and family, Erlinda Espino and family, Rona Silva and family, for the physical and spiritual complete healing of Joy Espino and children, Olivia Balatbat, Lolita Rodriguez. For the speedy recovery and complete healing of Roberto Rios Rosal, Helen Rosal San Pablo, and Lawrence Rosal San Pablo. Constancia Rosal Pamintuan, Lilia Lucia Nagyat, Jose Augusto Nagyat, Richie and Rima Pablo, Jelly de Guzman, Jose Piping Henson, Imang Auring Between, Daniele Stevens, Gertrude Spineda, Robin de Pomoseno, Danica Andumagin, Marichu Cedro, Edgar Bagang, Chema Makapinlak Rosal, Rizal de Manyala, Rodel Vargas. Let us remember our departed loved ones, especially Bishop Victor Ocampo, Monsignor Aquilino Ordonez, Teresita Wilkerson, and Daryl Charles Wilkerson, Sr., Leopoldo and Aurora Nepomuceno Valdez, Dr. P.J. Nepomuceno, Carmelo and Concepcion Nepomuceno, Romarico and Katrina Henson, Monsignor Cosme Between, Monsignor Andres Between, Policarpio Between, Jose Joaquina Between, Antonio Senor Rizon, Lourdes Rizon, Ricardo Senor Eusebia Ramirez, Gloria and Rowan Ramirez, Joscoro Senor and Lucial Ramirez, Joscoro Jr., Josdado, Mer and Edgar Ramirez, Roman and Elena Viray, Aurea Montalbo and Manolo Dizon, Andrea Olivia Family, Mariam and Maisel Wong Gonzalez, Rodrigo Wong Gonzalez II, Alfonso Wong, Emilia and Santiago Gonzalez, Francisco and Francisca de Choco, Alfredo Chow, Chua Tang In, Yao Bun King, Mam Ying, Edward Chow, Santiago Tay, Antonia Reyes, Maximo Chow, Cecilia Raquel Corazon, Josefa Lillian Lacson, Reynaldo Reyes, Herminia Reyes, Chito Reyes, Teresita Camaya, Teresita Punsalan, Fernanda Camaya, Felipe Buan Jr., Aurora Cosme, Paz Gibo, Ronald Ariscon, Rogelio Ariscon, Rolando Ariscon, Stephanie Abungan, Souls Nearest of Gates of Heaven, Manolito Gueco and Wilhelmina Palumbari, Carlito and Nicolasa Pineda, Marcos Lumanlan Jr., Renato Tayag Sr., Adoracion Tayag, Abraham Tayag, Herminio Chotico, Aletea Paras, Alberto Paras, Mary Grace Santa Cruz, Mark Christian David, Domitilia Canlas, Nepomuceno David, Bernabe Intal, Josefina David, Connie Eco, Villarmino Tan, Rina Villavicencio, Juanita Yabot, Aurera Yabot, 
Emmanuel Perez, Alejandro Ramos, Jose Paras, Madonna Maniala, Salud Samia, Ingracia Samia, Cor Correa Tanjueco, Harrison Malonzo, Felix Cabrera Sr., Felix Cabrera Jr., Reynaldo Caban, Alejandro Andaya, Mercedes Andaya, Consolación en Lázaro Rivera, Teresita and Benjamin Pejo, Lidia Rivera, Maria Luenda Lavarias, Pepito Paruli, Purificacion Paruli, Redentor Reco, Marcelino Dizon Sr., Mark Francis Manalili, Marcos Manalili, Serafina Lopez, Francisco Yabot Sr., Susana Yabot, Isabelo Sanchez, Rolando Sanchez, Conrado Sanchez, Richard Godin, Remedios Tolentino, Jose Tolentino Bonet Singaloa, Rodel Cunanan, Cecilio Nilio Jr., Charles Gillo Nilio, Juanito Santos, Juanito Sarmiento, Julius Garcia Illuminado en Bernardina Alvaro, Bruce Bertram, Virginia Pangilinan, Bienvenida Yamat, Gerardo Manalo Biño. And we pray for the souls of all departed, especially those who are in most need of God's mercy. Our Mass Presider is Most Reverend Florentino G. Lavarias, D.D., Archbishop of San Fernando, Pampanga.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to life everlasting. Amen. reading from the book of Job. Job answered and said, Oh, would that my words were written down, would that they were inscribed in a record, that with an iron chisel and with lead, they were caught in the rock forever. As for me, I know that my vindicator lives and that he will at last stand forth upon the dust this will happen when my skin has been stripped off and from my flesh I will see God I will see for myself my own eyes not another's will behold him my inmost being is consumed with longing the word of the Lord thanks be to God I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. How gracious is the Lord and just. Our God has compassion. The Lord protects the simple hearts. I was helpless, so he saved me. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. I trusted even when I said, I am sorely afflicted, and when I said in my alarm, no man can be trusted. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. O oh, precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened 
my bonds. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. But now Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruit of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came to the human being, a resurrection of the dead came also through a human being. For just as in Adam, all die so that in Christ shall all be brought to life, but each one in proper order. Christ the first fruit, then at his coming, those who belong in Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Don Bosa, Don Bosa Office at Chancery, kung saan nandun yung mga secretaries ng Archbishop, meron po kami ginawang caption doon na naka-frame. Tapos nakalagay sa ilalim, Jesus. Maraming pumupunta doon at nagtatanong, talaga ba sinabi ni Jesus yan? Sabi nga na, wala yata sa scriptures yan. Alam niyo po kung ano yung nakalagay. Nakalagay doon, If you are happy, kindly inform your face. If you are happy, kindly inform your face. Para kayo ko hindi man sinabi ni Jesus yun, pero yun ang gusto niya para sa ating lahat. To be happy, to be joyful. Most of all, yan ang gusto niya para sa kanyang mga piniling mga lingkot. Mga pari, deacons, obispo, and of course, including the religious. Because for me, a joyful face, a happy face, is a reminder, a living reminder of the presence of God in that particular person, in the midst of a broken world, in the, in the midst of seeming darkness that we experience. Napansin po ninyo siguro yung picture ni Bishop Vic, no? Nakatawa ba siya? So I believe he's happy, okay? And he's aware that he's happy. That's why he always informs his face. Isa po sa mga natatandaan ko, simula nung maging obispo, si Bishop Vic, pag nakikita kami sa CBCP, ay yung kanyang mukhang yun. Pag makikita mo na eh, masaya. At kung saan man siya nando doon, siguradong may tumatawa sa mga kasama niyang mga obispo. Minsan, hindi ko makalimutan yung kanyang first joke. Yung mga kasama namin sa mesa ay eh, medyo mas patanda pa sa akin. At siya nagbigay ng joke. Hindi ko nasasabihin sa inyo, baka may skandalo kayo. So, Nag-share siya ng joke. Tapos, tinignan ko yung mga kasama ko, mga obispo, uh, they were half smiling. <laughs> Dahil yung joke niya, parang hindi pa kasama sa kanilang parabang world. Yan si Bishop Bick. Kanina, habang nagpe-prepare kami sa misa, merong isang tayo, tayong obispo, si Bishop Bobet, siya naman ang natandaan niya yung huling kanyang joke. Sabi ra, three jokes. Three jokes daw. At tinanong niya, so, nagtanong si Aposeto kung gustong malaman. Gusto niyong malaman, Bishop? Sabi ni Bishop Bobet kay Aposeto, kung ano yung three jokes? Ano yun? Sabi niya, joke, joke, joke. <laughs> three jokes. Ganyan si Bishop. No? Uh, humorous, which I think is very important in the life of a priest, especially a bishop, in the midst of the many concerns in the diocese, in the, many, in the midst of the many schedules at times, still, there is still a place for humor. At hindi lang yan. I believe si Bishop Vic mahal niya ang buhay. He loves to live. Pag nagsisipi-sipi si po kami, ilang kilo yung dala niyang kalamansi. Yun. Palagi, hindi siya nagsasawa yan. Sinasabi sa mga obispo ang ginagawa niya. First thing in the morning, siya hihiwa ng kalamansi at siya ng kanyang iinumin daw na walang tubig. Then sabi ko minsan, narinig ko siya Alam mo, Bishop Vic, may side effect yan, sabi ko. Ay, ano, sabi niya, baka ikaw na lang ang maiwan sa mundo. <laughs> At one time, habang naglalakad kami, tapos uh, nakakabay ako, tapos meron akong na-feel sa kanyang likod, something rough, naka-t-shirt siya. Di siya pa no ito, pinakita niya, fishnet sa likod. Kala ko yun ay pagpipinitensya 
di ba, noon before, yung mga nagpipinitensya, mga kristyano, yan ang kanilang daladala. So, minsan yung sackcloth. Pero sabi niya, na explanation, <clears throat> kasi ako, sabi niya, kung minsan when I minister to people, madali akong magperspire. Kaya itong net na ito, it stands between my shirt and my body. At ito'y pag mayroong perspiration, tuloy-tuloy yan. Maganda yung kanyang explanation, pero hanggang ngayon, hindi ko pa na-try. So yan si Bishop. Bishop Vic. A happy person and a person who loves life. Pero sa aking pakikinig sa kanya, hindi naman niya gusto yung manatili sa mundo. Kaya gusto niyang manatiling buhay, gusto niyang maging malakas for the ministry. He loves life. He wants to live for the ministry. And I know at alam din niya, hindi naman siya pwedeng manatili dito sa mundo. Dahil ang buhay na mananatili, yan lang ay makikita natin sa Panginoon. Kaya nga narinig natin kanina sa Ibanghelyo, anong sinabi ni Jesus? He was talking about himself. Those who will eat my flesh and drink my blood, they will not die, sabi niya. Because whoever eats this bread will live forever. Kaya nandito tayo, palagay ko hindi lang akong naniniwala niyan, kundi tayong nandito sa pagkamatay ni Bishop Vic, binigay ng Diyos. yung kanyang hinihintay, hinihiling. A life that will endure forever. A life with His Lord. A life with our God. And I believe we have come together this morning not only to pray for Bishop Vic. His death is also a reminder one day, one day tayo naman ang ilalagay din sa ataol. And let us not be surprised because each year we are reminded during Ash Wednesday pag nilalagay yung abo, ang ibig sabihin nun, mamamatay ka rin. Yan ang ibig sabihin nun. You will die. Buti na lang, pagkatapos ginawa ng pari yun, wala pa naman akong narinig na nagsuicide. Pag sabi ng pare, mamamatay ka na, wala naman nagsususide na para bang masisira na loob. Why? Because during the season of Lent, we start with this putting on answers on our foreheads. We are reminded that one day we will leave this world. But let us not be discouraged because our journey will lead to the fullness of life. the resurrection. Bishop Vic had celebrated many uh, kwaresma sa kanyang buhay. Being a priest, being a bishop. Finally, we hope and pray now that he leaves his world, siya naman ay makakamit niya mula sa pag-ibig ng Panginoon, the resurrection. At diyan din ang kanyang binabahagi sa atin. Kuminsan, nakakabikla. Nung binles namin yung uh, tirahan, bagong tirahan ng ating mga madre, Dominican sisters, Adrian, Dominican sisters, pagkatapos ng celebration and the blessing, tapos I received a text message. namatay si Bishop. Of course, nakakabigla, no? At si Bishop Ambo forwarded a text also. Sabi ko, o nga, I received the message and I informed Aposeto. And Aposeto said, oh, napakabata namang namatay. Tapos sinisip ko, 71 na siya ako, 66. Kaya nasabi ni Aposeto na bata pa siya at si 86 na si Aposeto. 
Kung minsan nabibigla tayo, ba? Well, nakakabigla. Kaya lang, nakakalimutan natin ang ating Diyos, He does not follow our schedules. Why? Walang relo ang Diyos. Walang relo. Wala siyang kalendaryo. At kung minsan yun ang ating gauge. Di ba? That puts a limit in terms of our dealing with God. But at this very moment, ang paanyaya niya sa atin, well, do not only look at your life in the context of the world, but also look forward to where your journey is leading you to the resurrection. Nawa ang ating kapatid na nauna na sa atin ay mata mo niya itong life that is everlasting na ipinibigay ng ating Panginoon. At palagi pag may namamatay, ang aking sinasabi, naniniwala tayo na sila'y makakarating sa Diyos. At pag nakarating na sa Diyos, alam nyo rin ang sinasabi ni Bishop para sa atin, sana makarating na rin kayo dito. Yan. Pero sabihin natin, hindi naman tayo nagmamadali. But may He continue serving us through His intercessions, through His prayers. And as we continue our journey, may we one day find the companionship of Bishop Vic in the kingdom of God. And as we continue our journey, let us become joyful followers of Christ. From time to time, we need to pause. If we are happy, kindly inform your faces. Kindly inform our faces. Because a joyful face is an unmistakable sign of the presence of God. Amen. Please stand. God, the Almighty Father, raised Christ's Son from the dead. With confidence, we ask Him to save all His people, living and dead. Let our response be, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. For Bishop Victor, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that he now be admitted to the company of the saints. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For our beloved Victor, who served the church as a priest, that he may be given a place in the liturgy of heaven. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For the family and friend of our brother Victor, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord who with at the death of his friend Lazarus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our deceased relatives and friends, and for all who help us, that they may have the reward of their goodness. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may see God face to face. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For all of us assembled here to worship in faith, that we may be gathered together again in God's kingdom. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. God, our shelter and our strength, you listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed brothers and sisters. Cleanse them of their sins and grant them the fullness of redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. So
Brothers and sisters, pray that your sacrifice and mine may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We humbly beseech your boundless mercy, Lord, that this sacrifice, which your departed servant and Bishop Victor, while in the body, offered to your majesty for the salvation of the faithful may now bring him to your pardon through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him, the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim.
have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate this mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. We now proclaim the mystery of faith. of your Son, His wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to His second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we were nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with His Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence with a life while well, unfailing health. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope, with us Florentino our Archbishop, myself your unworthy servant, with uh, Bishop Roberto and all the bishops and clergy and the Thai people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O oh merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant, Bishop Victor, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection 
when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body to our departed brothers and sisters too and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life give kind admittance to your kingdom that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from your from our eyes for seeing you our god as you are we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end through christ our lord through whom you bestow on the world all that is good through him with him and in him in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours Almighty Father, forever and ever. free from sin and free from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. As one family of God, let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are we who are invited to share in His life and in, in His mission. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May your merciful kindness, which we have implored, O Lord, benefit the soul of your departed servant, Bishop Victor, that by these sacrificial gifts he may know the eternal company of Christ, in whom he hoped and whom he preached, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Hello. Good morning, Pope. We shall have a 30-minute break to give way to our short public viewing and um, we serve breakfast at the convent and after 30 minutes we shall transfer the holy mortal remains of uh, Bishop Vic to the Holy Angel University Chapel. I repeat, uh, we have a 30-minute break to give way to the to a short public viewing and we serve breakfast at the convent and after 30 minutes we shall transfer the holy mortal remains of uh, Bishop Big to the Holy Angel University Chapel. Thank you. Let us turn to Christ Jesus with confidence and faith in the power of his cross and resurrection. Let your response be, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Risen Lord, pattern of our life forever, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Promise and image of what we shall be, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Son of God who came to destroy sin and death, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Word of God, who delivered us from the fear of death, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Crucified Lord, forsaken in death, raised in glory, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, gentle shepherd, who brings rest to our souls, give peace to victor forever, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bless those who mourn and are in pain. Bless Victor's family and friends who gather around him today. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. With God, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Let us pray to Jesus. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as to us, the beginning is now, never shall be, all without end. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil.
you willingly gave yourself up to death so that all might be saved and pass from death to life. We humbly ask you to comfort your servants in grief and to receive victor into the arms of your mercy. You alone are the Holy One. You are mercy itself. By dying, you unlock the gates of life for those who believe in you. Forgive Victor his sins and grant him a place of happiness, light, and peace in the kingdom of your glory forever. Amen. Blessed are those who have died in Christ. Let them rest from their labors for their good deeds to go with them. Eternal rest granted to him, O Lord. And, and let perpetual light, light shine, upon shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. May the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the love and knowledge of God and of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. <laughs>